Wow. Double wow. Wow. What's up guys, Vinny here with Sneaker Tweaker and welcome to another video. Today we have double the trouble, I guess. This is the Way of Wade 8083 and the Way of Wade 8083 Ultra. Now, Way of Wade in particular has been one of my recent favorite brands. I mean, they've been improving year after year after year, but as of late, as of probably the last two, three years, they've been a top performer in pretty much all facets, whether it be traction, cushion, lockdown, materials, all of that. Some of their stuff is more on the expensive end, but these shoes in particular, the 808 line, the 8083 and the 8083 Ultra, they're more, I guess you would say middle price or budget price, just depending on which model. Clearly the Ultra is more expensive, but both of them have been amazing performers in the past. The 8082, the 8082 Ultra and the 8082 V2 and the 8082 V2 Ultra. A lot of V2s and Ultras in there. It's, it kind of gets confusing. Anyway, this line essentially has been the line that a lot of people have been comparing to the Kobe line, the 808 line in particular specifically. And for good reason, it's one of those shoes where you're not paying an arm and a leg, but you're getting everything you need for a low to the ground shoe that's quick, great traction, that has, I would say, an adequate amount of cushion. It's not crazy, but you have more than enough impact protection for the most part. But as always, let's start it off with the traction. As for the traction, last year it was pretty identical. However, in this case, in the forefoot area where your strike zones are, they're a little bit different. The 8082 Ultra, you have more, I mean, everything else is more herringbone, but then right where the strike zones are in the forefoot, they're both multi-directional. However, with the 8083, you have more of a, I guess, a multi-directional side-to-side -side pattern. It kind of reminds me of the, the All City 10s, more flat, more digitized. However, this one's a little bit more rounded. It's not as rugged, but this one is kind of everywhere. It's like a mini radial pattern. I think something's actually written there. It might say Wade. I can't tell. It probably is, but it is multi-directional. Now, initial testing, I've already put these on. To me, the 8083 felt better. I felt like the stops were better on the 8083 as opposed to the 8083 Ultra. Now, that's not to say that this was bad. It was still really good. But again, I haven't put them through any gameplay. That was just me running and stopping, running and stopping, and not really going side to side or anything like that. I have to put these through or gameplay motions to actually be able to say how they perform in game. Initial testing, I liked how the 8083 felt better than the 8083 Ultra. However, both of them were doing really well. Traction, honestly, I think both of them are going to be top tier elite traction. It's just my initial testing, this one just felt better. As for the cushion, they're both drop in midsole. This time around though, I believe they've also put a boom pod in the forefoot and yes, they did. So essentially you have a cloud foam carrier and then you have a boom pod in the forefoot. You also have this torsional plate TPU in the midfoot and that's just to help with stability and and just a torsional support. So that one is awesome. They've improved on the cushion on that. And then the 8083 Ultra, you do have full length boom again for the drop in midsole. I believe they've added some support features in this one. And this, I'll show you guys here, side to side. This being the 8083 Ultra, this being the 8083. As you can see, this one is full length boom. This one is cloud with a boom pod in the forefoot. And with the 8083 Ultra, you do have this uh, TPU midfoot shank that goes all the way to the forefoot to help with torsional support and stability. Both of them felt good, both of them felt nice. For me, I play on my forefoot, so the 8083 with the boom pod in the forefoot should be really good too. 
As for the fit, they both fit really well. I know a lot of times like on the websites and everything, they say go half a size up. I go true to size on all of my way weight products and it's worked out well for me. I take the time to break it in. It does take some time to break it in if you are going true to size, but I hate having a lot of room from my toes to the edge of the shoe. So I don't necessarily like going up half a size. If I don't have to, I'll take the time to break it in. Even if I have to put my feet through a little bit of pain, I'll do it just for that one to one fit. However, the 8083 for me fit a little bit better. It was more comfortable right off the bat. It's not to say that this wasn't comfortable. It's just this one right off the bat was more comfortable. This one, I feel like it'll just take a few wears here and there just to kind of get that going as well. As for the materials, it's similar for the most part. You do have engineered mesh throughout both of them. This one on the 8083 Ultra looks like it's more kind of knit and more breathable. Whereas on the 8083, it still feels super light, but on the 8083 for me, feels a lot more malleable. Plus on the tongues, this tongue, you have, I believe it's a synthetic leather tongue. This one, it's more of a, kind of like a holographic tongue, but this tongue felt better for me. I feel like it was stopping the lace pressure more. It could also be the difference in laces. This one uses those flat laces. This one uses more of those slightly puffy laces where it doesn't put too much lace pressure on your ankle. Both of them, again, really good materials and fit, I think, for what you're getting, what you pay. They're really, really nice. And then as for the support, they both were extremely supportive. As you can tell, both of them have those midfoot shank plates in the drop in midsoles. Plus you do have all of these TPU overlays in the forefoot and then these panels that just go throughout the lateral side you have a pretty beefy one here on the ultra and then you have a nice one here on the 808 regular 8083 as well both of them also have nice heel counters this one doesn't have the carbon fiber heel counter anymore it does have it on the side but you also have a carbon fiber midfoot shank plate on the 8083 ultra and then on the 8083 standard you have a tpu midfoot chain plate and then you have a or synthetic leather or tpu heel counter as well so both of them really good both of them really supportive your feet stay in the footbed for both of them for initial testing i didn't feel anything that made me feel unstable or insecure where i felt like i was going to roll my feet or roll my ankles or anything like that i was low to the ground feet in the footbed super nice super awesome honestly i'm expecting great things from both of these shoes way of wade hasn't disappointed me yet all of their shoes have been hits i don't think i've been disappointed in their shoes in the last i want to say two years pretty much all of them have been money for as for the difference or and the colorways this one is a night light colorway this one says new york on the side i believe this is based off Dwayne wage draft day he was drafted in new york on the back it's a star and it says fifth and i believe that's because uh, he was the number five pick in the draft to the miami heat and then on this one, this is the dark flow colorway. It's more of a standard launch colorway. You always get that black upper with the white outsole. Most shoes, I guess, they do have a standard looking colorway that comes like that as well. And this one, again, it's more of a, a dark colorway, but it's one that kind of also pops. So you have color or some different variants of color, the rainbow or night light colorway. And the forefoot, you have the holographic tongue, but both of them, Super nice colorways. I think both of them look super clean. Again, you have this one for 120 for the 8083, $120, and this one for $160. And you can get them at Way of Wade's website, or if you have the shop app, the Way of Wade shop is on the shop app and you can purchase from there as well. As for the difference in weight, Way of Wade 8083, this is a size nine, keep that in mind, is 14.4 ounces. The Wave Weight 8083 Ultra is going to be 14.3. So the 8083 Ultra is 0.1 ounces lighter than the 8083, which super weird because there's technically more tech in this. However, 0.1 ounces lighter. I mean, they're still like right there. I don't think that 0.1 ounces is going to make or break anything. Both of them have great potential. I can't wait to put them on the court and actually get some gameplay in them. Like I said, I expect great things from these. If you guys have played an 8083 or the 8083 Ultra, or if you've played any 
Wave Wade shoes, leaning shoes, or really any Chinese brand shoes, let me know in the comments down below which ones they are, how you like them, or if you guys are wanting to try these out and you guys are waiting for a performance review, stay tuned for that. These things are money. I'm telling you guys, these Chinese brands, Wave Wade in particular, is pretty much leading the way. They're gunning for brands like Nike, Adidas. I mean, Adidas, Adidas has been kind of a no-show lately. I, I don't know. But the Trey Youngs look promising. I think the Dawn Issue 5 looks promising as well. And then you have the Harden Volume 7s that released this year. However, I think Wave Wade is gunning for that number one spot as far as performance. And I think with the shoes that they release, the amount that they release in a year, I'm not speaking just for myself, but I've seen other shoe reviewers that this brand in particular dominates their top shoes for the year. And you guys can stay tuned for our end of the year rankings. But last year, Way of Wade was rated at the top of my list along with the LeBron 20s. So keep that in mind. Know that these things are pretty solid shoes. They're some of the best ones out there. And for the money, I mean, $120 and $160, they're right in line with the old Kyrie shoes or the Tatums or the Jaws and these ones more with like the KDs. So either way, both great shoes. Comment down below if you are looking to try them or if you have, again, let us know how it was. Also guys, thank you for all the support you've given us. And remember, we are trying to grow this channel. Anything you guys can do as far as helping us grow so that we can get bigger and also reward you guys for supporting us as far as giveaways and whatever else we can do. We'd appreciate all of it. If there are any other shoes you guys would like us to review, please comment down below. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and follow. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.